is up guys, it's Shadow GT back again with another F1 mobile racing episode. We are here for episode number two as we continue our journey for supremacy. If you guys did miss the previous episode, the opening episode, then be sure to go check that one out before you see this one. A good start I must say, starting 4-0, so let's hope that we can continue that into this episode. So for our first duel for our episode, we are racing a guy named Robert around the Silverstone circuit for one qualifying lap. This is a circuit that, if you watched in the previous video, uh, spoiler alert, it was really fun. So here we go, then as we get down towards the main straight, 3, 2, 1, go, down the long Hamilton straight. We did slow down a little bit, so I was a little confused about why, but it's fine as we head now into turn 1, flat out, no need to lift, and already gaining a bit of time, about 3 tenths. Almost 5 tenths to be coming to the next corner, hard on the brakes, get the car turned in, hit that apex, and get out, then same thing, brakes, cornering, and then we go wide, but that doesn't seem to affect us too much, we are still well ahead, and then cutting the corner a little slightly, almost getting a corner cut, but we're fine, get the DRS open, and now we are rocketing towards um, Brooklyn's and Luffield, the next sequence of corners, getting deep on the brakes, cutting back in, getting on the power early, then going really wide, but getting that undercut line so we can get a really good exit. As you know, get out of the corner and head down the old Street Street towards Cup. And I gotta say, this is already pretty really exciting. I've been at 1.8 seconds ahead of our fellow Robert guy. Flat out through the Cup section. Look at the beautiful scenery outside. It's just a glorious sunny day. I mean, I had to put that in. It's so boring. As you now come into the Maggots and section, really taking it nice and easy. And coming into this corner again going wide. This is a corner that's really been almost Oh my gosh, that was close. We almost lost the back end there. We had to keep it in position. And now we're heading down the hangar straight, getting speeds of up to 155 plus miles an hour. Where are we gonna be at the speed trip? About 160 miles an hour. As we know, whoa, we go very, 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 very wide. Wait, what just happened? Oh, uh, okay, then we so we just we just popped and disappeared. Then coming into the next chicane, we are completely fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're going to make it through nice and easy. And then getting on the power early, coming out of the last corner, we're still going to finish first to win our duel. 5-0. and oh. What an awesome start to this episode. So for our next race, we're racing a guy against Cam GZ008, I think is what I read. And it's a one lap race, we are back at Silverstone, and it is a sprint race. So uh, yeah, everything's really going to matter in this episode, really, because... You know, one lap, it's really only like a bunch of corners, so you just gotta make sure every corner is right and you gotta get it, um, you know, spot on. So here we go, as we get set and we're going green, and uh, we actually get off to a decent start, and he actually gets a good start as well, but we get through, uh, through the first corner very easily. Nice, he's already gaining a bunch of time, we're already catching up to the Red Bull. Are we gonna send it down the inside? Yes, we are, but the Red Bull's got more break, and we make a bit of contact with Verstappen, but we are okay. We get through nice and easily, we get back on the power, we are up into fifth place. And then, oh my gosh, we're going so slow as the Mercedes, but we do get the job done on Hamilton, who is running a pretty low P5, considering he's at the British Grand Prix. Then coming into Brooklyn, nice and hard on the brakes, driving in hard, nice and early, and then getting back on the power, get the brakes. This time, uh, we go out pretty late, so we did not get the undercut line we wanted, but it's fine, we're already 2.1 seconds ahead of the guys, which is our rival, Cam, something, as we now come into top section where Hamilton again tried it on Leclerc but at this time it worked and we are catching up to the Ferrari are we gonna send it into the Magnetic section yes we are we get our tires touch the grass though and he gets away so that's, that's an opportunity wasted we are going flying through trying to stay with the AI luckily there is no dirty air and this time finally getting that corner right as you get the DRS and then now we have a very 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 good run as we head down towards um, the next corner and already gaining a lot of speed, 160 plus miles an hour. Are we going to send down the into? Yes, we are. Passing Leclerc into the next corner. Going wide, but we managed to keep the car somewhat stable. And as we have next head into the final chicane, almost running right into the back of Paris as he breaks very early. And we do manage to escape without any harm. And we do manage to maintain a lead 2.7 seconds, as I say, as we cross the line to win our sixth duel. And boys, it's already exciting. For our third duel, we are back again at Silverstone. Third time lucky, I must say, as we now go for our second qualifying run. Hopefully this time it will be slightly better than the last one, because the last time we were here for qualifying, it was, uh, it's a little awkward, I must say. So let's hope we get this dead right and go. 
And we slow down a bit again, probably just to keep us equal, but as we come into the first corner already, again, gaining so much time, that's why we have to ignore the racing line if you're a real F1 driver, which I would like to aspire to be now, coming into this corner yet again, getting the corner right, coming out again, hit the brakes, hit the apex, get the power down, again, much cleaner exit than last qualifying time, and then, as you now head down the Wellington straight, getting ready to open the DRS, which is right about now, and then as we head now into, again, Brooklyn's in left field, which is going to be, um, you know, just the same exact thing. Drive it in deep, get the power down, get the brakes on, get the undercut line. Again, we now we get that even better that time, as we now get a good run down the old pitch straight towards Cup. And again, just, you know, admiring the beautiful sunny sky, with the clouds here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we now head to Cups. And again, just look at the beautiful clouds. I mean, isn't that just exciting? I mean, I just love this cloud. Anyways, back to the racing action. Heading into Maggots and Beckett. We go through these flat out nice and easy. Let's get this corner right. No, we're going to get wide again. But this time, we are not going to get on the grass and almost spin out. And we get to still get a decent run down the hangar straight. As we have the DRS open, we are really gaining the speed. 165 miles an hour right there. Wow, that is insane. And then going through this corner very cleanly, you know, getting the power down nice and early. Then hard on the brakes for this chicane. Don't cut it, please. Yes, you don't cut it. And then get the power down, down the last corner, down the main straight. And we are good to win our seventh duel in a row. Wow, that is really exciting. And for the fourth and final duel, guess what? We are back at Silverstone, but this time it is a grid start. So the clutch will be important and the start will be important. So let's see if we can get this race going. As here we go, that five red light. For one lap around the British Grand Prix. And it's lights out. On away we go. And it's a decent start against the Ferrari of Leclerc. And now as we head down into turn one, are we going to get the outside line? Probably the preferred line of the AR. Pretty slow. We almost make some content, but we do manage to get through and almost squeezing through Paris. As we now set to chase against the other Mercedes, hard on the brakes, get the power down nice and early, and then getting the brakes again, hit that apex, going wide, almost losing it, but we do manage to keep it on the track. Then now down the hangar straight, or the Wellington straight, sorry, for good measure. Unfortunately, no good slipstream here, as we're now set to just stay behind the Mercedes for a little bit, as we now come into the next corner, driving it deep, going a bit wide, and then really only keeping it just barely. Oh, we do manage to get the second part of the corner right, get a good exit as they follow the Mercedes through. And the Mercedes, you know, keeping us modest, really. We're not really catching them as fast as I thought we would, but we are keeping about two seconds ahead of the next But we are really catching the Mercedes. Already oh, decided to come. Oh, there's a bit of contact with Hamilton. Hamilton, that's your revenge against Verstappen. But we do make it through with no damage to our car. Now heading into the Maggots and Beckett section. Hard driving and really getting it right and we get the corner pretty much right i would say actually it was really tight but we do manage to keep it nice and steady now down the long hanger straight as you now head into the next sequence of corners are we going to get a good run through yes we are almost 160 miles an hour getting it right holding the apex getting out on the curb nice and early and then getting into the chicane nice and easy and as we set up for the final corner power down early and then we rock it towards the finish line to make it eight wins in a row for the duel. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy these videos, then please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.